Hello and welcome once again to the Talk of the Terrace podcast with me, your host, Mike McPhail. And as always, I am joined by my good friend and co-host, Harvey Carter Hill. Harvey, how are you doing? I'm good, week? mate. Yeah, yeah, all good. All good, mate. Um, played played again, played a bit of football again at the weekend, which was good. So, uh, yeah, getting back into the swing of things, normal life, resuming. So uh, it's going well, mate. How about you? Yeah, I'm good. No football yet for me. Uh, I haven't played for a while before lockdown since I moved out. So I haven't really played. But did you get injured this week or no? It was it. I took it easy. I was playing on one leg. And <laughs> oh, still, enough. still created a goal though, so it's all good. I can still do it with one leg, so I think oh, we're all right. all right then. Yeah, that's all right then. We'll. Uh... We won't jump straight into the main topic this week. We'll quickly mention what's been happening the past few days. Obviously, the European Super League came about from out of nowhere on Sunday, like a Randy Orton 8 RKO, you know, out of nowhere. <laughs> Just came out of nowhere. All these teams are signed up to it. There's significant backlash from the fans. Unfortunately, obviously, everyone's pulling out. It's dead in the water. So we don't need to waste an episode talking about that piece of trash. But all I'm going to say is Chelsea saved football, yeah? We were the first team to pull out. <laughs> Technically, nah, I'm yes. I'm jo- but, yeah, no, te- yeah, yeah, no, nah, I'm joking. It, it was the fans. The fans have not saved football, but you know, helped that situation. Gary Neville, Jamie yeah, Carragher, together. some big, big members in helping that. And I'm just glad it's not happening. You know, I had a terrible couple of days. I was ready to do this podcast with a Marvel t-shirt on, not a Chelsea t-shirt or <laughs> an England t- or an England jersey or something like that. But it's changed. Don't care about the result to Brighton nil nil. That wasn't the main story yesterday. You know, it was an all right result, I suppose. Not really. Well, but, you well know, what we'll, beat we'll see how that happens. But yeah, do you want to tell the people what this week's podcast is all about? Have uh, we've got um, our main topic of rating um, all the Premier League teams' seasons so far, and um, what what sort of rating we could give them depending on how they finished that season. Uh, there's not too long left, um, but still a lot of lot of room and time for movement and teams to hit form and teams to drop yeah, out of form. I've got trophies as well to contest for that I've got in I've got in consideration for mine. I don't know about yes. you. I'm not just talking yeah. about the Premier League itself. I'm talking that all of the Premier League teams and their whole season, be it trophies, be it, you know, cup yeah. competitions, etc. Yeah. But yeah, so we're going to do it English style, you know, we're going A, B, C, D, E, F is an, a failure. If you get an F, that means you failed your season. I think we may have one or two of them in there. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah I've got, got a couple. Got a couple so of A's think, in there, do you know? Yeah, well. same. I've got a couple of A's. Might have three, actually. Start, maybe, I don't know. But we'll see. So, shall we start off at the top with Arsenal alphabetically and go down yes. from there? Okay, since you're, the, uh, since you're the uh, Arsenal uh, person on this podcast, We'll start oh, I wouldn't go that far. I just well, appreciated a good I've, team. I've had a few people actually message me in regards to last week's episode when we chose our favourite XI and didn't choose Chelsea players. One or two were like, why did you let Harvey choose Arsenal players? Because I'm not an Arsenal supporter. I know, why. but... I just appreciate are, good football. Exactly, but, well, not this season. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but mate, I'll let you I'd... start with Arsenal. Give us your Arsenal ratings and we'll go from there. D- minus have been shocking, haven't they? Awful, yeah. dreadful. Um, get rid of Arteta as well, if I'm honest. I don't think wow. he's any good as a manager. Um, the only good thing to come out of Arsenal this season is the emergence of some of the youngsters. Yeah. Um, Saka and Emil Smith Rowe. Um, and that 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 is about as good as I've got, to be honest. Um, yeah. I think uh, Wenger probably didn't. I know a lot of the fans wanted him out, and I think that was wrong. Um, yeah. but you look at I think we might have spoke about this personally, Mike, in the middle of the week. This team that Wenger had in the Champions League. Oh, yeah, we, we have, spoke about that. It's crazy. Will Archie, Johan, Juru and others. Hey, Juru. Um, Juru's top quality. Ju- yeah. We <laughs> um, all said Juru, and you? The D-J-O-U-R-O-U guy. Yeah, Juru, yes. Shamak. Yeah, w- yeah Shamak up top. And they were playing in the Champions League, so... <clears throat> I mean, if you're comparing that team to others, I think it proves what yeah. a good manager Wenger was. Yeah, he was and, um, underrated by many people that are a bit younger, maybe. Yeah, but uh, yeah, just a poor season. Really bad. Uh, I don't think... Uh, Aubameyang wasn't great at the start of the season. 
don't think he's been. I don't think he's been great. And and my prob- I, what I like, what I don't like about Arsenal. Let's say there's a as a bright young talent on the on the horizon. We're looking good. He's playing for someone else, and people go, "Oh, why don't Arsenal? Get, they need they need someone. Go buy go buy someone decent." And I feel like Arsenal always do it like two or three, four, or five years too late. Like period, yeah. a, a, like a Bamiang, get him when he was hot at Dortmund. Probably pay an extra ten mil. But get all his goals in his prime, not now where he's hit and miss. Yeah, Don't... Lacazette was the big one, I think. I think Lacazette <laughs> was on the cards for Arsenal for about three, four years, weren't he, before they got him? Yeah, why, why not do it? Why not do it at the age was. of 22, 23 mm. instead of 25, 26? Give him more time. Yeah, he might just be getting towards his prime, but you, I wouldn't have said that they're, they're good players, but they're not the quality of players that can be in their prime and play wherever in whatever team that those sort of players that Arsenal are buying. So I think they need to buy him a little bit younger in my eyes for, for me. But yeah. Yeah. Shocking season. Shocking. There's no good. There's no. Yeah. yeah soccer I've, and I've actually gone straight for, game. I've gone straight for an F for Arsenal. The fact they're not going to qualify for even the Euro- Europa League at the moment is an F. You know, they're, they're currently ninth in the table. Yeah. Played what, their yeah. 32 games. 46 points. They're way off the mark, in my opinion, football-wise. They're playing Everton uh, tonight, are they? Who have a game in hand and they're three points ahead of them. So I just don't see them catching anyone up. So I don't get to see them getting European football. The only way I've gone them, got them up, I've actually given them a C if they win the UEFA League because that means they qualify for the Champions League next season through winning the Europa League. They Sorry, look good in that, League. to be fair. But and still, if they win it, it that's their uh, first European trophy. So that's a big win and they qualify for the Champions League automatically through that I believe like Chelsea did back when we didn't yeah so, yeah, that's true, so yeah. I think that that's their season it's an F currently they're down in ninth they probably it's will bad, get overtaken yeah. by the likes of Leeds I think maybe and Aston Villa have two games in hand on them and they're only two points behind so I think they get I hope so, by yeah. them. they could finish bottom 10 so it's an F but if they do win the Euro- Europa League I genuinely think that's a success for them with a trophy that isn't the FA Cup and you know <laughs> yeah they actually qualify for the Champions League so it's a big big change but we'll go for Villa next Aston Villa who I just mentioned they're on uh, 44 points with 30 games played they've got two games in hand over Arsenal you know and they're two points yes. behind, but yeah get, if they win their two games they go uh, joint seventh sixth place with uh, Spurs and that they have a chance to get in Champions League football it's not out of the rounds of possibility but I think at the moment, Villa are playing really good football. Jack Grealish needs to be back and running the game. So I've given them an I've actually given them a B at the moment. Ooh, okay. How their season's going. And I think that yeah. goes up to an A if they qualify for either the Champions League or the Europa, Europa Any League. sort of European football. Any sort of good, European football, considering how they finished last season, that's a big win. That's a big, big win. Yes, yeah. Big win for me. So what, yeah. what do I've, you think? I've got them down as a B minus. Yeah. Um, Greek, the they're not they're not great without Grealish. I no. must say they they look poor, if I'm honest. Um, but they've done okay while he's been out this time. I think did he have a stint out last year and they were really bad. Yeah, yeah. I believe well, they nearly um, ended up getting relegated, didn't they? Yeah, that yeah. Just how bad it is. I mean, you talk about a bit of a one man team. Grealish does seem to be that. Um. I, I, I like him. I do like Grealish. I think he's good. When he's in the team, they look so much better. Ollie Watkins is another another great bit from their season. Um, he's been firing, hasn't he? And did he yeah. score on his debut for England? I think, I think so. He yeah. Did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, that that be that be what uh, I'd take from that season. If they get, I've got them down as a B minus. If they get Europe, I'd put them down as an A plus. I'd give them the top grade yeah. because. To, to be think, honest, from, from last season to this, to that's A plus, really cool. a plus, I think I agree with you there, you know, talking about how they, where they were For last a one-man team, where they are really. Team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's impressive. obviously in a so. future episode, we'll probably talk about transfers. We'll want to see this summer transfers. We think we'll see this summer. And I think Grealish will feature heavily team, in that for many yeah, teams. Yeah, team, team needs and, you know, get rid, get rid of a few players. Yeah. Who would you bring he'll, in? Who would you, he'll, he'll, he'll be get rid of? at the top of, like, so many teams for me that are above Arsenal, uh, above Villa, teams in the top seven, six that the, a- I think the actual top six. From, yeah, 
I think <laughs> I think there's definitely teams that could benefit from a team like Grealish. But then we also talk about how Villa are going to need to do this summer. Their number one thing is to keep Grealish, right? But I'm sure we'll talk about that, won't we? Probably just doubles their transfer kitty for the summer, doesn't it? Yeah, but if he goes, selling someone changes the whole team sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, we'll oh, go, yeah, yeah. We're going to Brighton next then. Currently 16th in the Premier League. They're not getting relegated, I don't think. They're not going any further. I've just got them down as a D for both. You know, I think football-wise, they're That's probably about... Gosh. Maybe, I think football-wise, they're a B, C. They're playing some good football in that. But I just... I expected goals and stuff looks good. Yeah, but, but you expected goals and that and doesn't foot... mean anything when you're, when, no. you're in, when you're actually not scoring them. So I've just got them down as a D for both. They're staying in the Premier League. Not barely, but they're staying in the Premier League. You know, they still can go down. But I just, I just think a lot of this hoo-ha. I think Graham Potter's a top manager, and all this hoo-ha about this expected goals and that doesn't mean much when you're still sat in 16th, still in a relegation battle. Yeah, you're playing good against these big teams. Yeah, you drew nil nil with Chelsea, but at the same time, it's, you're still down there, aren't you? So yeah, I don't think yeah. they were really expected to go down this season like some teams that I've got that are a bit higher up on the rankings. You know. Potentially, yeah. I've got them as a C plus because fair enough. I mean, anything other than rele- if they get relegation, it's an F. Anything other than relegation to me is they're doing all right because what they're not exactly a big team. Let's be honest, they're not. Right. They're not a big team. A, they've they've turned it's... themselves into a into a bit of a, a bit of a major club at the moment because yeah. they're in the Premier League. But again, we've seen clubs <clears throat> do that, go up, have a couple of seasons, go back down. Bournemouth, for example, yeah, I, I think I think they're on a par with Bournemouth. I don't think um, I don't think they're a, they're not a, they're not a average Premier League club or anything like that. They just they've they've been lucky. Um, I think sacking Chris Hutton was a shocker, by the way. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't agree with that, but they've just done. They've had several manager changes. They've just got lucky to to stay in the league. But they're staying in the league, and for a club like that, that's all you can aim for, really. Get the money True. where you can. But the fact it. is, I just think they're struggling to actually stay in the Premier League at times. I mean, they need a they need a striker. They they need start, a yeah, sign striker. a striker, and I think they'll be all right, to be honest. Yeah. I think they'll Lallana's a top the quality striker. I think maybe D's a bit harsh, but I just felt like all this talk about them being where they should be expected goals was not a big fan. So. No, I don't quite. But, yeah, I'd rather we, I'd rather expect to score zero goals, have zero possession, yeah. and win one nil from a breakaway. Give exactly. that all day. You you, you <laughs> always want to win games of football. That's what it's all about, right? Uh, yeah. Next up, we got your main man, Sean Dyche, and his Burnley <sighs> team. What have you gone for for big Dyche? Doing anything below a B, I'm gonna cry. No, I've, <laughs> I've, 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 I've given that. Yeah, I've given him a C minus. Um, usually slightly higher. They're usually sort of. A, a, a middle of the middle teams. Does that yeah. make sense? Not yeah. It, but they're always a they're always a danger. Um, I think they've been in Europe, haven't they? Yeah. In, part, in within the last three yeah. seasons. They they um, in Liverpool's home run at Anfield, which was a big scalp. Yeah, they just they just haven't spent anything. Sean Dyche has mentioned it before, but if you go and look at the facilities now, um, I remember about was it four or five years ago? He was doing an interview out of a um like shipping container One of now he's <laughs> yeah now you go and look in it's state of the art everything's brand new it's unbelievable so such a small squad he does such a tremendous job every year um st- like again Burnley for me or another Brighton they should I, are they a Premier League team I mean they're in it but you wouldn't have said oh yeah that, yeah yeah Premier League, no, give me a Premier League team. Burnley are never the front of your mind, are they? No, no, no. That, that's, be, that, that's how, that's that's how I see it. Yeah. 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 Burnley's but, one yeah, of those teams like Stoke that t- players outside of the Premier League, when you ask the likes of like Messi or not just Messi, anybody from Spain, it's like they'll never have heard of them. You know, people haven't heard of them sort of teams, have they? Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't hear about them. But the, I mean, I, I, like, I think Burnley had quite a bit of, quite a bit to the, to the Premier League, the different style of play and, how yeah. they go about games and stuff. So I quite like them in the Premier League. I hope they don't go yeah. down. I, th- I think I think um, they're the Stoke since Stoke left. They're the team that you don't want to go up against on a rainy Wednesday yeah. night, right? Yeah, uh, I've, but probably I've play a bit same, better football. I've done the same as Brighton. I've given them a D because 
I can't give them a pass because they've struggled to stay in the Premier League this season and they still can go down. You know, with Fulham and West Brom, Fulham maybe not, but West Brom have got some games coming up against the likes of obviously Villa and who, a few more uh, left. They've tough. got some tough games, but they beat Chelsea 5-2 and they're really trying and you never know a big Sam Aladice. So if Burnley do go down, that's obviously a straight F. Right. If, uh, yes. Yeah. Somehow. Absolutely. So that's why I've well, got down yeah, as a D because yeah. they're not quite safe yet. You know. And but as soon, play, as, soon but, as they get safe, they get a C, though. Surely. Uh, yeah. Got to be if, the, if they're safe, it's got to be the main aim. Europe is a fluke. If, fluke, if they're it? safe and Brighton are safe, I'll give them all a C. But we'll move on to Chelsea next, and uh, yeah, obviously they're my team, so I'll take I'll take these you first. Go first, mate. Let's see what you've got. We're currently fourth. Should have probably beat Brighton yesterday. We should be going to beat them, but obviously things were maybe on the players' minds. A lot was going on. We'll use our excuse. <laughs> but it was a pretty dull game. I mean, but you've had fourth. a bit of torrid run of form, really. Yeah, we're not on the greatest run of form in the Premier League, but outside of the Premier League, we're doing all right, maybe. You know, yeah, in the Champions good. League yeah. semi-final, so that boosts us up. I think because we're in the semi-final of the Champions League, we're in the final of the FA Cup, and we're currently sitting fourth. I've currently got us at a C plus in the sense that we want to be in the top four. So that's where we are. That's a C. That's minimum. But we're in the Champions League semi final. We're in an FA Cup semi in the FA Cup final. That's a C plus. If we win okay. the FA Cup and not the Champions League and we come top four, I'll give us a B. If we win the Champions League and the FA Cup, that's a straight up A plus, no? If we win the Champions League from the uh, position. Yeah, we're in, if, it, if think, anyone wins. No, oh, well, I'm not even bothered about what position you're in. In terms of that, if anyone wins the True. Champions League... If we win the Champions League, League and come outside of the top four, we obviously get into the competition next year. So maybe Champions League A+, plus, FA Cup A, with a top four finish, maybe. But I think... Yeah. I, I, I back us to finish top four with the teams around us, you know. We're level on points with the likes. So I've got the table up here. We're level on points with West... Uh, level on points. We're level on points with West Ham. We're beating them by goal yeah. difference, 32 games each. We're... Uh, three point two points ahead of Liverpool, same games. Five points ahead of Tottenham, same games. We're only six points ahead of Everton, but they've got a game in hand. So I think those are the teams that we're really looking at. Uh, we're only one point behind Leicester, who have got a game in hand, which obviously is tonight's game. Against yes. Southampton. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Against, is it Southampton tomorrow's game? Yeah. Sorry, against West Brom. And we all know how West Brom are playing at the moment. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Chelsea season currently C plus. You know, we've got a good manager in. I miss Lampard, but I trust Roman Abramovich. I always do. And I think okay. but yeah, C plus at the moment, A to A plus, C. depending on how we finish. I think Champions League, like I say, A plus. No one expected it. And just on that note, with Bayern Munich getting knocked out by PSG, I am instantly changing my thoughts that Chelsea are gonna win the Champions League. I, I wanted to say it anyway, we all know that. But I didn't say that yeah. in that podcast. Yeah, I think we win it. I've got I back our boys. I think it so who who do you just remind me how how's it sit? How's it sit? You play We play Real Madrid next week and the week after. City play PSG. Okay. We so you still in the FA Cup though. Are you thinking City. are you thinking that PSG do City here? Is that your only is that I don't know why you've changed your mind? No, as surely... a mind, I thought the only team that could beat us out of them last eight teams was Bayern Munich. I can't see PSG beating us. And we just beat Man City 1 0 in a pretty easy win. They didn't really do anything. So I think no. we're in the Champions League and Real Madrid. I think we go through Real Madrid. Just got that feeling, you know. That's fair enough. Yeah. Just, I mean, I do think you to back my, got to back my boys as well, really. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're saying. I do feel like you might beat Madrid, to be fair. I mean, Liverpool put up a poor showing. Yeah. But they, <clears> they were they're really super poor. Form four at the moment, aren't they? So. They're, <clears throat> they're bad. Yeah, they yeah. are bad. Um, but what have you got down for Chelsea's you know, season, anyway? I feel like you've done them a bit of a bit of a harsh one, to be honest. I've, go- I've given you a B. Yeah, I wanted to give them higher, but like you say, a lot of people say this is a Chelsea podcast, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see your reasoning, <laughs> but I've gone B. Yeah, um, and I've gone. I've put that you should be top three every year. I don't oh yeah, care. definitely, hundred percent. That's Chelsea. Yeah. That's Chelsea football club. Yeah. That's what we're about. I, th- I think the 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 top four teams, as I see it, are City, United, Chelsea, Liverpool, and all four in of that them order, or, or just them for any order. They're the, they're the four. 
they're the four, but how I see it is all those four should always be aiming for top three at this current yeah. at this current time. Every year should all be aiming top three. Yeah. Man City could probably be the only ones that should or could say we want to be top two every year just because they've had a bit more consistency than the yeah. others. Um, I think you've you spent so much money at the start of the season. I think there was a worry there that if that hadn't worked, it would have been a lot less than a B. And I think I don't think they've done too badly, those signings, any of them, really. No. They've all been they've all been okay. None of them have really been Werner's had a couple of shockers because you're expecting your forwards to bury goals, but happens to anyone. At the end of the form. day, he's got us to an FA Cup final as well with that assist against Man City. <clears throat> he, had a, he had a solid game against Man City. I yeah, think he got two assists. Two years. Uh, two years. Two years. Think he uh, got two of your new signings. Yeah, new I think he got goal, two assists, but unfortunately, one of the goals was ruled out for offside. But he was just in the right place at the right time all the time. Yeah, I think he's yeah, been good. I line. really hated, I hated that you sacked Lampard. Hated yeah. that. Um, Same. I wasn't a big from, fan. From, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not a Chelsea fan. I do yeah. like Lampard. I think he was good as a player. Felt he should have got more time, but that's the Chelsea way. Tuka's been epic. Um, and Mount, I'm throwing this out there now to you and the rest of the fans listening. Mount, Mason Mount, is going to go down on a par with Frank Lampard. I, I agree. I've I've been saying that for about a, about eight months now. I think I, I think he's, I think he's going to be under, that good. You know, at the start of this season, a few games in. And then when Lampard left, Tuchel came in. A lot of people were like, why is Grealish not starting for England? Why is Madison not starting for England? Mount's not that good. Mount's better than all these players. I think Grealish is top quality, but he's top quality in that Aston Villa team as a left winger where he's got a free role. I think he's completely different for England. I think Mason Mount starts at the Euros in the 2022 World Cup. He starts at the World Cup. I think he's top quality. And yeah, I think he's going to be going down as one of Chelsea's all-time legends, like you say, up there with the likes of Lampard and John I, Terry. Yeah, he's I think he'll be down John on the Terry part. coming through the Chelsea academy. He's a Chelsea boy. He's going to be that man. He'll be our captain when Cesar Aspilicueta leaves, probably in a couple of seasons when he's maybe a bit older and that. But I think he takes over the captain's armband before he's 25 in a couple of years' time, and that's it for the next at least seven years for him until he's 32, 33 and see how he does from there. Yeah, yeah, I, I do think he's do think he's quality. Um and that, yeah, I if you if you win the Champions League, for me you you'll get a, a, an AA plus. If you yeah. do the double, it's an A plus and I don't care where you finish in a Prem to be honest. Yeah. Because you don't win no sort of trophies if you're not any good. Um well, that's it. So, the game yeah. against Leicester in the FA Cup final could be a good one. That's if we're allowed to compete in it, obviously. And the yeah, Champions that is League, true. So we yeah. don't know. But we'll move on to Crystal <laughs> Palace. I've done what you said with the past teams, you know, Brighton and Burnley, where I gave them D's, Palace a 13th. You know, they can't go down. They can't go any further. I've just given them straight up C. I've C given them C+. Plus. Yeah, C+. C plus. Plus. Fair enough. I've given just them for a securing C. safety so soon, I think. Yeah, that's a so fair soon. point. I think CC for them. And uh, we'll see what happens at the end of the season. Roy Hodgson apparently leaving and a uh, new manager coming in. Who would you like to see at, Man- at uh, Crystal Palace? Obviously, a few names being thrown about. Eddie Howe, um, Frank Lampard being one of them. Maybe maybe Lampard, because I think there's a couple of... Um, Ebe, is it... Uh, Eze? Eze. If he can turn Eze yeah. into half the player Mount is. Because let's I not think, forget, like, yeah. Mount's he was quality, quality now, but Lampard really excelled Mason Mount's career, right, with the fact that he brought him in at Derby. I, th- I think there was, I think continue. Lampard did that with quite a few youngsters, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I really like him. I'd like to see him play off um, like Zaha and mm. and maybe just get, they need a couple of defenders for my liking. They, they've got an oldish back line. Yeah, Gary Kale being not, one of them, obviously. They're not, they're not young, are they? No. Um, <clears throat> maybe go out and buy a couple of youngsters. Yeah, um, they could have done with maybe... doing doing some replacement with the uh, Aaron Wambasaka money because he was top quality. Yes. You know, if they yeah. had kept him, and then some legs in midfield as well because yeah. I think they're, they're Milivojevic is in his. Yeah, 30s. they've got well, they've got Milivojevic. They've got oh, who are the other two lads that have got McCarthy, McCarthy, uh, and... and MacArthur. They've got them two yeah. both. 
better. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. I like them. I think they're they're your average Premier League player, which is yeah, they're they're, they're about to they. But <clears throat> yeah, next but up though, I think this legs. I think this is a big one. You know, I think they've had a solid season. We'll go to Everton, shall we? And I'll hear what you say about them. B plus. B plus. Been, I think they've been good. I think um, I, by the by the sounds of Jamie Carragher on Sky Sports, Everton have scared him and Liverpool a yeah. lot more than probably anyone thought they would while Jurgen Klopp is probably still in charge to be honest yeah um quality manager quality world class, quality manager, world class manager um Rodriguez has been brilliant when he's been about um yeah. if they don't get Europe this season I reckon they'll get it next season well they'll probably um, get Europe this season. season you know yeah if yeah if the, I mean if they somehow manage like to miss out so. on that I think they'll definitely get it next season yeah um and then I think Dominic Calvert-Lewin is going to be brilliant. Yeah, I think he's going to have a really good career, um, and he's fourth in a in the goal scoring charts at the moment, isn't yeah. or equal fourth, or uh, yeah. you know, there's quite a few on the same amount of goals, isn't there? Um, yeah, and I think he's pro- he's got a massive future. Massive good future. future. I've actually great. given them a B currently because I think the way they've played, regardless of where they finish now, finish the season, if they finish outside of the Europa League, maybe drop it down to a C because. They always do that, don't they, Everton? When you think of the top six, seventh place is always Everton. If they finish there and thereabouts, I think it's like that's just the same as usual. But the way they're playing, yeah. the way they started the season, the way they threatened, they were top of the league for a while, weren't they? Them and Tottenham were coming yeah, out of nowhere, time. you know. Yeah. So, But I think they get a B currently at the moment. If they get into the Champions League, that's an A-plus straight away. They can still do it. Obviously, I'm looking yes. at the table there. Eighth at the moment, 31 games. 49 points. They're one point behind Tottenham with a game in hand, four points behind Liverpool with a game in hand, you know. So, that, it's, it's, it's going to be, I them. think it's really close. Yeah, it'll be funny to see him come Put ahead. Liverpool come, out of the spots, wouldn't it? Yeah, get rid of Liverpool from that after they won their first Premier League title. But yeah, I think Everton have had a great season. I think there's more to come from them next year, you know, see what signings they make. Carlo Ancelotti. Yeah. There was talk of this, wasn't there? Oh, talk I'd love Isco to go Everton. Isco's well, class when he's on his I think game. That, I love the guy. Isco and um, Hammers Rodriguez. And, yeah, with maybe a, <clears throat> I'd probably want to see a good uh, uh, another really top quality centre mid uh, as yeah. well, just to let those yeah, two go and they got Alan play a with. bit late, didn't they? Alan's a bit late in yeah. his career, so but he would have been good maybe back then. They could do two, it again just a good, two three years ago, couldn't they? Yeah, we'll see. A we'll young twenty three. Maybe we'll Tom Davis might. Again. I reckon Tom Maybe Davis could, might be able up. to step into that one. Maybe yeah. he steps up. We'll see. Next up, though, we've got Fulham. Now, Fulham, if they do it, if they get out of relegation, I'm giving them a C. They're getting relegated, but I haven't given them an F because I think they were the favourites to go down. You know, I think Fulham, they came up, they were the favourites to go down. And I think with keeping Scott Parker and how they're playing football now, if they can keep Scott Parker, keep some of the players, they'll come straight back up next season. I've gone for an E. I haven't given them an F. I've given them an E. Yeah. Just one I mean, above like, F. What What are you... What are you... Ba- like, how do they... Uh, they're, they're obviously favourites to go down. They're in a relegation zone and you've given them an F. So I didn't give them an F. I gave them an E. What? You gave them an E? All right, all right an E. All right. I said you've they were... Them fa- before the season, them, West Brom, and I think the likes of Burnley, yeah. Bright- Brighton, Newcastle, but Fulham and West Brom were in everybody's team yeah. to go down. And I think yeah. they've come close. You know, they're six points off Burnley at the moment with five games left. They've played more games than Burnley and Brighton. But I just think I can't give them an F because they were favourites to go down. And the fact that they're not already down from the start of the season, if you look at how they started the season, remember when yeah. they barely got a point, they were they were similar oh, to Sheffield were, United, who we'll get on to. They, they were looking yeah. at they were looking at not even hitting the 10, 20 point mark, you know, but they're nearly on 30 points. So they're doing all right. I think yeah. with the future of the game, they've got some good young players, you know, Adam Ola Lookman, especially if they can keep these sorts of players and like try and get them players to stay at the club and hope they don't have like clauses in their contracts for getting relegated. I think they'll come straight back up. So I can't give them an F for failing what they were already planned to do. They weren't, um, you know, they wanted yeah. to stay in the league. They didn't fail themselves by not staying in the league. They just weren't strong enough. They didn't do what they'd done last time when they come up and went straight back down after spending 
I think it was like 120 million they spent last Yeah, they spent like, some big money. That was yeah. an F. That was an F. This though, they came up, they stuck mainly with the same squad, got a few loanies in and stuff. And I think maybe an E, E minus, close to F, but I don't think they get a straight up F for me. What about yourself? I've, I've given them a C minus. I don't oh, really? know. What, I, see? I just, I just don't think, like, let's, let's be realistic. They're, yeah. they're, they're not that good. Yeah, oh, well, this is where and, you said earlier, you said, how can a team not get an F if they get relegated? And, like, this is where I said, like, where I was given Brighton and that a D, and you said, how can they be anything less than a C percent in the league? This is the same thing, though. If you're getting relegated, that's a fail. They look, they, yeah, true. It's a C minus at the moment, but I feel like they might stay in the league. I, I feel like I, they might I think, do that. I think, West, I think yeah. West Brom have a better chance than them. Well, I, I kind of hope they do survive, to be honest. I like Scott. Parker, yeah, I like, like Mitrovic Parker, at the top. I think. think he's yeah. good. Um, <clears throat> and I, do you know what I've written down here? Um, I don't know what I can't remember what I said about Brighton, but I've got him down. I've gone. I've written down here Brighton to go down with Newcastle. I think you be... think Brighton and Newcastle swap places with Fulham and West Brom? I'd like. Uh, no, well, I think not that. Not that I think. <laughs> yeah. that's what I'd like. <laughs> yes, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> that's what I would like. Burnley, you wouldn't want Burnley to go down. You love. Sean Dyche. No, do you like do you like Sean Dyche? Sh- shall um, we move straight on though to the big team of? I think these are the team that a lot of people were excited to be back in the Premier League. Even the people that hate Leeds United, you know, seventeen yeah. years <laughs> out, they're a big team, big name in English football. Yeah, and uh, yes. they're not doing too yeah. bad. What are you uh, given Leeds? I've given them an A. An A, yeah. Currently so, tenth, what, thirty-two what, games, what, forty-six what, points, equal with Arsenal. Yeah, 50 I mean, goals that, for um, 50 I mean, goals against. <laughs> uh, yeah, that does not surprise me. Probably had an extra zero on by next year. Yeah. Um, but what, they're, they're not far off Europa League, are they? Uh, well, I don't believe. Like I said, 32 games, 46 points. Europa League, seventh spot. Is it depending on who wins Carlin Cups, FA Cups, etc.? It can change so far. Lip Tottenham with the uh, EFL Cup, not the Carlin Cup, the Carwell Cup, sorry. I think maybe eighth yeah. place gets it or something. Like that. I can't remember how it all works. It changes. Yeah, the I don't... Time, but yeah they're on 46 points, which is uh, four behind seventh Tottenham. Yeah. Uh, seven yeah. behind sixth Liverpool. And they're on the same game. So it's not against the realms of possibility, you know? So, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't think many people anticipated the season they had. Not even their own fans. I don't think they even anticipated what a season it has been. I think yeah, it's I think been from great. that first game against Liverpool when it was like a high scoring game and you saw their intent. And that was when Van Dijk was playing, you know. That's when Liverpool yeah. had their start next side. They looked good. I've I've given them a B for yeah. both, I think. B now. A A if they get into any form or A plus if they get into any sort of European football, that'll be top from them. But I think a B yeah. minimum because you know, I just didn't think I thought watching them in the championship a few times. And the Spygate against Derby with Lampard, that was hilarious. Uh, yeah. But that was, yeah, that was good. That was, that was dirty. That was always Obviously, good fun. Same against Aston Villa, you know, another team when they was against Aston Villa and one of the players went down for Aston Villa and Leeds went on to score. Did they or they tried to score? Did they score and then they let, they, let Villa they score? Did. I can't yeah. remember. I think they one ended up letting yeah, Aston Villa like score. That. that was a couple of years ago, you know. They are yeah. they are top two housery teams. That's what they do. Ref whistle though, don't that's you? it. Ref that's whistle. it. And it is oh. funny. And Bielsa just has hamstrings and thigh muscles of like a 21-year-old gymnast because he's just sat there squatting yeah. on the side of the pitch all game. Yeah. But like, yeah, squat, top he? quality. I think they're really fun to watch, you know. But Bamford's, again, for equal yeah. fourth goal scorer in the league as well. I think yeah. he's Bamford, been, I, I don't think he gets close to the Euro squad, but I think he's been No, really, I don't think he gets into the players. Euro squad or he's like, you know, there's a lot of players ahead of him. But yeah. I do think that, yeah, they've been fun to watch a B minimum, regardless of where they finish for footballing reasons. And just because they are they are finishing in the top, probably top 11, 12 teams minimum. If they finish top half of the table for a newly promoted team, that's pretty phenomenal. That is good. Well, last season, Sheffield United done that, didn't they? They finished like seven for saying they've done. Really yeah, well for the, exactly. It was mental. So and now imagine if we had done this <laughs> last year. Yeah. Look at them now. We'll come to them. Yeah, I think late yeah. Leeds had a quality season. Yeah. Yeah, probably probably uh, bring in a few um, a few more legs. 
for next yeah, season. That's, that's what I was worried about watching them in the championship. They fade away at the end of the season. They nearly bottled it, didn't they? They were getting close. I thought the yeah, Premier League's a lot tougher. They're not going to be able to keep up their uh, intensity. They haven't kept their intensity up. If you look at how they've played A lot now, less games, to, though. Yeah. But if you look at how they're playing now compared to how they played in the championship, the intensity is a little bit less. It's you know, uh, and it's been it's a bit bottled. Conserved, they've, they've, but, yes, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. they're still playing good football and I'm glad they're in the Premier League. I think it adds that other team in the Premier League that people love to hate along with Man United. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. We'll move on to Leicester <laughs> next, shall we? See what you've yes. got for Leicester B, City. B plus. B plus. It, do you know what? B plus. Uh, it probably should be it. I don't know whether it should be an A minus, if I'm honest. Yeah. But without the injuries, I think they'd be second. I yeah. genuinely think they'd Fair be enough. second if the um, key players I mean, went out. Ten, I mean, ten James Man United with a game in hand. So. Yeah. So let let's say they win it and they were seven points behind and they've had Tullamans, Madison, and DD Vardy all go out yeah. this season. If for, for length Pereira, as well, it wasn't Ricardo, just Pereira as well was out for a bit of time. Yeah. You think that's that's half your starting eleven um, yeah. have gone out injured? They still and managed the best to half as well, probably near enough. Yeah, some yeah some of the best players they've played still played phenomenal football. I think Brendan Rodgers is one of the one of the best managers and coaches in the Premier League at the moment. Yeah, um, I think he's yeah I think he's he's well. I mean, he nearly nearly took Liverpool to the title, didn't he? Yeah, he um, so have done, to be fair, he's a Chelsea yeah probably should have done. Brendan Rodgers probably done well with done. Chelsea when he was at. Chelsea like with the yeah, younger teams that teams. he grew up there. Yeah. But I've gone for an A, straight up A at the moment. They're third. They've got a game in hand over Chelsea. So they're already a point ahead of Chelsea. Like I said, 10 points behind Man United as well. I think they're getting Champions League football. That's an A ahead of the likes of Liverpool who won the Premier League, Tottenham, yeah. Arsenal. You know, that's an A. And I think if they drop out of that and they go into the Europa League, that's a B plus because that's where I expect to see them. But it's still a win because they'll be significantly good there's good signs for the upcoming season. I think they look in a better position for the 2021-22 season than the likes of Tottenham and Arsenal right now, who are really, to me, struggling. fading away. Yeah, you know, just struggling. Struggling. I don't know how yeah. they got into this Super League. Neither do a lot of people. But we'll move over no. to the champions, no. shall we? The current champions yes. of the Premier League. What are you saying about Liverpool Football Club, Hub? F. Yeah, I've gone um, straight up F. F. Yeah. Um, the, only, the only positive thing has been Salah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Trent's been poor. Let's not Trent's forget poor though, this season. Let's not forget they have had significant injuries at the back with their first three starting centre backs, like all going out yeah. for prolonged periods of time. But yeah. that doesn't excuse the fact they are a top four team. They won the Premier League. They should be reinforcing them positions. Like Chelsea, for example, we lose. We lose one of our centre backs. We've got numerous players that can fill in there and do a job in the Premier League. Same as Man City. You look at Man City. No one thought Ruben Diaz would be this good, but he's keeping Laporte out of the team, who was probably on par with Van Dijk last season. Yeah, it's the best two centre backs. Yeah, they were. They were I think quality. Yeah. they're currently sick. Thirty-two games, fifty-three points, two points behind Chelsea, two points behind West Ham in fifth and fourth. You know. They're going to struggle to get top four. They're out of the Champions League, out of the FA Cup, out of the Carabao Cup. They ain't got anything to play for this season. They need to get some four. Yeah, I think the only way they save it, they're currently on an F. If they get into Champions League, I'll give them a C just for the fact that they haven't completely bottled. That's where they should be. That's that's where where they they should should be, be. minimum. But I don't see it happening. I think it's an F. Yeah, I've got F so far. Yeah, I mean, I just think there's been so many poor performances from individual players and I'm not going to say as a team because I think that's harsh in terms of like you said Right, we're back, we had a bit of technical difficulties but we'll start off where we were, Harvey, you were talking about Liverpool and Salah and how many poor performances they've had this season other than the injuries Yes, yeah um, I think yeah, Salah's been the only sort of shining light I think the, the rest of the team individually has been poor um, Trent, Allison, I don't think I don't think they've looked as good. Yeah. Um, I don't think I don't. I want to say it's a team performance because, um, obviously the injuries that they've had at, at the back, I don't think it's quite been fair to say that. But individually, people are talking about Trent being the best right back in the world. I haven't seen it this season. No, I haven't right seen back it in the Premier this season. 
I don't, no, I don't think he has been. I don't think Allison's been good um, no, either. I think he's made he's, too many mistakes, in my opinion. He's been yeah, cold. mistakes. Um, Sadio Mane basically dropped off the radar. That he's done nothing really. Yeah, he's um, been and Salah's been the only been the only shining light alongside so. with Diogo Jota as well. I think when Jota's been fit and in the team, he's been top quality. I think he's uh, scored some. He's looked goals. good. Yeah, yeah, he's looked good. Um, but twenty two years old, come from Wolverhampton Wanderers. He, if that's what if that's what Liverpool Football Club are turning to nowadays, then maybe they need to sort of recruit a bit better. I don't know. I think Diego Jota's maybe going to be bigger than you think there. 22 years old coming from Wolves, that's fair enough. But I think he's going to be no, but if a that's, top quality player. Yeah, in about three, four years' time, he's going to be brilliant, I imagine. I don't but know. We don't know. We'll see that's next what, season, won't we? If that's, what, if that's what you're pinning it on now, mm. if that's what you're hoping is going to do something for you now, then I think recruitment needs to change a bit. Fair enough. If fair that's enough. the case. I thought but, yeah, that was a bit um, of good recruitment myself. But, yeah, I like him. I think he's... I think he is good, but he looked yeah. good at Wolves. Do you know what I mean? He looked yeah, good and there. That's the, point. Not... that's the point. Yeah, he looked good here as well. Anyway, shall we move on to Man City? Obviously, yes. top in the Premier League, semi-final of the Champions League against uh, PSG, final of the uh, Carabao Cup against Tottenham Hotspur. I've given them an A because they're in all of these. They're in the final. They're winning the Premier yes. League again after Liverpool won it. They're in the Champions League semi-final. I think if they somehow bottle the league and Manchester United do catch them up, they're eight points behind. You know, it's closer than people think. And they're not on the best of form. Man you are just winning, 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 winning games at the moment. Their form at the moment is top tier. If they bottle the Premier League, it's yes. a C because they're second. But it's a C if they get to the Champions League final and all that. C, top four, because... But if they bottle it from this position, like you say, the Premier League alone, that's an F. F. But Got to be an F. You... If they win the Champions League and the Premier League, forget about the Carabao Cup. No one cares about that. Spurs do. But if uh, they win the uh, Champions League and the Premier League, I think that's an A plus. Yes. Yeah. If they yeah, you know, if, if they, they do that, if they do, do that double. I think yeah, yeah, it's got to be good. I've got them down as an A. I think yeah. they've been they, they started off bang average. Really, yeah, they, they started were, off uh, rotten, didn't they? I think they were. They, they were at one point. They, yeah. Um, Phil Foden. It's been unbelievable, yeah, absolutely been. incredible. Um, he's a, to watch. He's a, he's I, a poor, poor man's Mason Man. <laughs> I mean, do you know what? If these I'm these joking. two are going to be playing yeah. for England for the next ten years, if those two, if those two, two are going to be, be, yeah, they should be. It should Phil be Foden's, together. The man, I think, as a midfield free, I like the sounds of the likes of Rice, Mount, and Foden. Or that's against teams where we need an extra person defending, so like Rice, but. I like your idea of Bellingham, Mount and Foden as a midfield three. That would just completely they've destroy all looked, teams. They've all looked incredible, haven't they? All, yeah, the, yeah. Those some three of the best, this, this season have been some looked, of the best young players around the world, regardless of nation. You know. Yeah, um, but yeah, I think Foden, even against Chelsea at the weekend, he came on for Kevin De Bruyne and the game instantly changed. Yeah, he wanted Kevin to carry the ball forward. The ball, he, wanted to do, he? he wanted to do something with the ball. He sort of, you know, a bit of energy on the pitch there was no energy on that pitch at all yeah, someone, someone mes- messaged in our group chat saying Mike how do you feel about De Bruyne coming off sat uh, up uh, and like do you feel good or bad and I was like I feel bad because like with him on he the pitch doing they nothing. were doing nothing and I was like yeah. Phil Foden coming on the pitch I'm more scared now Kevin De Bruyne was doing nothing he's not looked the same player this season but shall no, we move on not. to their uh, cross city rivals and Manchester United yes currently yeah. second I'll, in I'll... the Premier League like we said Looking yeah, like they're I've, going to get at least minimum second. I th- yeah, I think they'll be doing well. I've gone for a B plus. Yep, Bruno B. has been mental. Um, if I'm honest, uh, he's he's the sort of player that I think would have even survived in the Fergie era. Yeah, Man United. Yeah, I definitely. think he's that definitely. sort of player. Um, good to see Henderson get a decent yeah. run of games as well. I'm quite happy with that. With him being an England international, I think that's good. Um, Solskjaer's put a bit of faith in him. Wan Bissaka. I don't think he's been. Don't think he's been too bad. I think he's done yeah. all right. Been showed all right, showed yeah. a few good defensive qualities. Rashford's been entertaining. I think his pace is lightning. Yeah. Coming in off the left hand side, cutting in right foot. I think he. I think he needs to work on his finishing. He needs to be more clinical, a lot more clinical. Um, but he offers a threat and pace, doesn't he? And I think United not going to go as 
far as to say they're looking back to the normal selves. Yeah, yeah. In terms of Fergie, but it's one hell of a step in the direction it's a step, of that it's a step way. Step in the right say. direction, isn't it? Yeah, maybe yeah. two. Maybe two. I think, I think you're right with a B plus. I've gone B plus as well. I think second place is something no one expected at the start of the season, honestly. As well as a Europa League semi final with a chance of winning the whole thing, I think they're probably the favourites. Uh, if they somehow top a Man yeah. City, that's an instant A plus. I don't see it happening, yeah. but if they no, somehow it, do it eight points happen. behind with six games, you never know. It's the Premier League, you know, you never know. And uh, I think if they win the Europa League again, it's an A, not an A plus, but I'll give them an A because I think they're expected to win it now from where they are. You know, yeah, I suppose. I'd, I'd you've probably still remember, go A plus. I wouldn't give them an A plus just for the sheer fact that I think the only reason they're going to win the Europa League is because they were the worst team in the Champions League, right? I think that's an unfair thing to do to Europa League teams. You know, these teams that qualify for the Europa League, they're getting through their groups, and then why? Why is it fair that failures like Manchester United, who came third in their group mm, in the Champions yeah. League, deserve a chance to then redeem themselves? That's what I don't like about it. I don't think Chelsea deserved to win the Europa League when they won it, when we got knocked out of the Champions League. I don't I don't like that. Why should a team that failed in the Champions no, League it, get that chance in the Europa League? You know, I think that yeah, I think that's something that's right a bit unfair to the Europa League teams. Because yes, looking yeah. at this, Arsenal will be thinking we've got a chance to win this, you know, we should be winning this. But then Manchester United come out a team that's above them in the Premier League, a team that was in the Champions League. So they're expected to win it, aren't they? So yes, that's why yeah, I yeah, I agree. Plus for winning the Europa League. Uh, shall I move on to Newcastle, who I think are both going to be quite low in our estimates? I've just given them a straight up D for both. Uh, that yeah, it could give them a C for not getting relegated, but they've played boring football. They haven't looked good at all. They probably should I've... be going down. I'd like them to go down from the way they've played, but I can't give them a C because I don't think anything about Newcastle other than the fact they're staying up is good this season. And yeah, I've, if I've, they gone, go down. I've gone C plus. Yeah, I think they've done well to survive. I genuinely do think yeah, they've, they've done really well, done to, survive. well to survive. Uh, the team well, they've got that, survive but... at the moment. St. Maximan and John Joe Shelby, the only two players in that squad that are even worth looking at in my yeah. eyes. Um, all right, um, Callum Wilson's there now, but what so, took Bournemouth down last year? So yeah, yeah. is he, is he that, that good? I'm not sure. Same, um, same with Mike, Manchester City, you know, it's like I didn't understand that move. He hasn't really played for him. No, that when was you get weird, relegated. One. There's only a few players that really step up when they get relegated that you look at. Like when you look Thank at Buen- God free for yeah. When, Nor- when you look Norwich, at if you look yeah. at Buendia that went down with Norwich as well, Emilio Benduia, the Argentine. Uh, yeah, forward. he's proper top quality. How no one got him in the summer last year? I thought someone would have definitely got him a mid-table team, but now he's coming straight back up with Norwich. They're already promoted. Yes, you know? yeah. So and he's yeah. a key part of that. But yeah. No, I've got. I don't. Yeah, I don't think. Um, Mike, Mike actually gets a lot of stick as well. Yeah. Not quite. I mean, I, I find I, I don't quite understand that. I, I honestly don't, don't quite get his, get the, all the stick he gets because he's put ploughed loads of money in. He's ploughed loads of money into that club for yeah. someone that he, he doesn't even support or like. I, I don't believe. So, how can you ask a man that has no affiliation to your club when he stops putting the money in? Yeah. What what he's already ploughed loads in. He's already said I don't want I want to sell it. I've ploughed enough money in. I don't want to do it anymore. What's wrong with the the guy's been honest and he's took a battering for it. And I think that's why they dislike him because of certain because he's like told that. the truth. Yeah, he's been honest. And he did try yeah. to change. Obviously, whether he did or tried to change the stadium name, I think that was quite annoying as well. I'd hate that as a oh the sports direct that, arena or something. Yeah, that sort of stuff really hit them, and that's where yeah. it went down. We'll move quickly yeah. on from them, shall we, top uh, Newcastle and go straight to a team where I can't see us both talking about these at all. I think Sheffield United, no. it's an F straight up. They're already relegated from the Premier League. 14 missed, points missed is pathetic. Henderson. Missed yeah. Henderson. You can't rely on a lonely goalkeeper though, can you? So No squad. No squad depth. No quality. Yeah. Uh, and I, I reckon that, Wilder, Chris Wilder gets a good job next. Next. I, next I, that's what I was going to say. One thing I'm going to say on Sheffield United, the reason why it's a hard F and it's going to be an F for a long time. It's because they got rid of Wilder. He would have brought them back up. He's their best chance of coming back up. I can't see them coming up next season. Or uh, no, I don't season. think you know, they've got an agent squad, that, haven't they? 
they've and not just that the money they spent on the younger players. Real Brewster's not going to be there. He might he might probably stay in the championship. He's got a good championship record. But Sander Berg, he's going to be bought by Stone. He's not going down to the championship. He's probably got a clause, but don't really mm-hmm. want to speak much more about Sheffield United. You know, they're just from last it's season. Been poor, it? It's been poor. To, it's been yeah. super poor. Last season they could have gone they would have gone A, B minimum from both of us, guaranteed. You know, they've done better than one league yeah. this season, but this season poor. Uh next up we've got Southampton, obviously. Got to an FA Cup semi final. Oh, yeah, it was tough. I've gone, I've gone D. I've D. gone for D. I genuinely yeah. think they should. Uh, I I don't know if you. I, I just uh, I don't know. I just don't think they should be that far down the league. Do you um, know, I I've gone for a C. I think this is the worst Southampton squad we've seen in the Premier League era for a long time. You know, they've always had the likes of Gareth Bale, uh, Van Dijk. Mane, there's no players in that team. The best player they've got in that team that anyone's going to buy is Danny Ings, right? I don't think. I've 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 written down James Ward Prowse and Danny Ings. He's all yeah. right, but they're not. They're not. The thing is, the other players, Van Dykes, the Manes, the Bales, the Walcotts, the players that they've had before, their teams, the top six won. James Ward Prowse, yeah, and Danny Ings, yeah. are players, the top six won't want. No, no, true. Yeah, true. Not but I think start, I think a team like Tottenham could do with Danny Ings as a uh, replacement striker if Harry Kane gets injured. I think that's a top quality signing. You know, I think they I, can do I, a lot worse. I, I quite like James Ward Prowse, to be honest. I don't know what yeah, just something about him I just quite like, but um I I think they should be further up in the table, if I'm honest. I well, don't think they the should be. Fourteenth at far the down. moment on thirty six points with a game in hand on Wolves, but there's four five points behind. I don't see them getting any further than where no, they, are. they probably they won't 14, do this season. But I just think this is the worst squad they've had in quite a while. And yeah. Yeah, there's not, just, yeah, it's not been great. They stayed on in the Premier to, League. Um, CC. Yeah, on, carry on. Yeah, on to your favourite team. Oh. Spurs. Oh. Got to be. Uh, I mean, they must have a fairly high grade because they're in the top, where are they, top six? No, they're seventh. Seventh. Top yeah, seven. Seventh. Oh, okay. They're seventh with their with a Carabao Cup final. but So what have you given them? Well, before before Mourinho got sacked, I would have given them a C, I think. They make it to the final of the uh, Carabao Cup. they still got a hope of Champions League football, but they've got a better chance at some European football at least. You know, but Good, sacking Mourinho, I'm giving, I'm giving them a D. D right now. Because I can't see them winning the final without Mourinho. You know, the man's won 12 out of the 14 finals he's managed in. The only two that he lost, he went to extra time and penalties, etc. So he doesn't lose in 90 minutes of football in a final. And I think the the appointment of Ryan Mason as the manager is not something Spurs fans... Spurs fans are going to be all excited about now. But the guys like Andrea Perlo at Juventus, he hasn't completed his coaching badges. He's not a true manager right now. And look how Juventus are doing. I don't... They're all talking he's about... He's got some badges. He has got he's some got badges. Some, but he hasn't got enough to be a top six European Super League manager, has he? So he won't stay, in my opinion. I don't think they win the, tro- I don't don't, think they win I don't, the Carabao Cup. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, I'll, I'll have to sort of disagree with you on the badges thing because I don't think badges are everything. Um, They're not. But they they help they help at a certain level, but when you play at that level, you have a good understanding of that level. That's and it. But Ryan Mason is... didn't truly play at that level long enough to gain. I think he's got this status uh... at Spurs because he was a young player there. Unfortunately, obviously, he had that injury which cut his career short. But I think there's better managers out there that Tottenham should be going for. I'm not sure who. You know, I think the likes of Graham Potter or. The likes of Eddie Howe deserve a chance at a team like Tottenham a lot more than Brian Mason. Yeah, potentially, but so we'll we'll see what happens with the whole management thing afterwards. I but... suppose I suppose there was plenty of more decent managers than Frank Lampard, but yeah, but at the time of that, that's the your... problem. At the timing of that with the Chelsea thing, it's completely different to this. Spurs are looking to win stuff. That time that we signed Frank Lampard, he'd done a good job with Derby, nearly got them promoted. But on top of that, we had no transfer budget to, for three transfer windows for a season and a half. No one's Sounds like Spurs. In. Well, true. But on top of that, they're going to have a big building job this summer because I think Kane's going to try and go. I don't think he stays 
but at the same time, who's going to buy them? So it's one of them situations, you know. But I think I if think they it, win the Carabao uh, Cup, I'll give them an A because they finally won a trophy after 13 years. Sure, it's the worst trophy they possibly can win outside of the Audi Cup that they host themselves. But it's a trophy in it. And I've given them a B minus. I don't think yeah. they've had a bad season, to be fair. I that, think they've that, had a bad just, season. You expect them to be better than this? Yeah, I expect them to be better than this. Especially with Mourinho in charge as well. I thought they'd be better than this. I thought, look at the teams above them, Leicester and West Ham. They're the sort of teams that Tottenham should be beating. Tottenham are meant to be. This is why everyone made jokes about Tottenham and Arsenal being in this Europe, European Super League. Tottenham have never won a European trophy that means anything or the Premier League. And they haven't yeah, won a but, for 13 years. It's like... Yeah, so they're obviously not that good. And you, they're sat in seventh and you still... Barely. Surely that's... They're only seventh because Everton are one point behind with a game in hand. So after this week's run of games, I can see them being eighth and not qualifying for European football next season, depending on their Carabao Cup ventures and how it all works out. Uh, fair enough. I mean, I, I don't really associate Spurs with like being up there in terms of a a big a big six. They never normally did until that's only it. just recently, really. But that's so for me, up. for them to be sat seventh is uh, quite good. They've got the probably the best strike partnership um, in the league. I think yeah. in Kane and Kane and Son, they're in, they're in a cup final, and what what more can you want from someone who, in my eyes, probably are punching above the weight? They just got extremely lucky to get to the Champions League final. Yeah, they and, they, and they didn't second, deserve to be there, but yeah, and 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 finish second. They were extremely lucky. Very. Shall we shall I, we move I mean, on I, to uh, West Brom then? Because we're yes, yeah. I've gone D. Got. I've gone for a D. I agree. I, I, think, I think it should be a bit higher, but... I think D, they're going to get relegated, yeah. it looks like. They were fa- one of the favourites to go down after coming up. D if they go down. A-plus if they stay up. If Sam Allardyce single-handedly helps them stay in the Premier League from the position they were, they deserve an A-plus. Just from staying in the league, they were down Build and out. Build that man statue. Build that man statue. statue. You know, he's just done it again. What about West Ham? This is a, this is a good one. Um, I've gone for an A. Like yeah. An A in my eyes. I don't. don't yeah. I don't think anyone anticipated them being in the in the top six. That let alone the top four. Yeah. Um, Obviously, they're fifth Rice at the moment. But fifth at the moment, but joint on points. Yeah, game for I, Chelsea only on goal difference, but it's so close. Yeah. They're yeah, they're um, the team that I'm worried about most, and we've got to play well, them. I had them this fourth weekend. when I did the, when I wrote down positions. That's yeah. why I've said fourth there. Fair but, enough. So they they need a striker in my eyes. They yeah. need um they need they really do need a striker, especially if they want to compete at that level that they're at now. Um, they've just done such a good job in midfield and at the back, um, and probably I don't know. Go go and sign if they could find a a striker, maybe like um. Who would be a good fit for them? They, they could have done with the Luka Jovic rather than getting Seb Haller. Yes. I think if they yeah, had gone for Jovic I, instead, who obviously went to Real Madrid and didn't work out, if they can go and get Jovic now, I think that's the top top signing. Yeah, that, yeah, someone someone like that um, would be good. Any sort of finisher, a finisher. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I'd like to see there? Ivan Tony from Brentford. I think he'd yeah. do a quality job. I think Brentford um, do that, don't him, they? You know, Brentford. Him playing off, yeah, him playing off um, or everyone else playing off him. Yeah. In terms of Lingard and um, even Mikel Antonio, reckon, I think it's been really good. Jay Ling's signs for him after his loan spell next season. Do you reckon he joins them on a permanent? I'd I like think, to see it happen. I don't think West Ham can go far wrong trying to go for him, you know, but we'll see. Obviously, we'll talk about that in another video. He looks video, like maybe. he's loving it there, doesn't he? But yeah. yeah um, I've, I've done I've, the same as you, mate. I've gone for Royce an A. He's a good manager as well. Yeah, I've, I've gone for an A good. like you. Moyes is a top manager, you're right. I think he 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 was not given enough time is at Man United. I think that's more time at United. Yeah, yeah, I think A for West Ham, I think they've overachieved what everyone thought of them, especially over the past few seasons when they've looked really poor. You know, so I'm giving them an A. If they drop out of the top four, drop out into the Europa League, A minus. If they get top four, A plus. So it's an A all around. I think yes. they can't yeah, do much agree. wrong. And then shall we end on Wolves? 
as it is. Yes, C C minus. Shocker. C minus. I, really I've good. gone similar, but I've just gone D. I think D for both. They're not going to go any higher than they are. They're not going to get top ten. They're not going to go into relegation battles. So I just think a D. They've last season they were completely different. But I think that D is mainly because they've missed Raul Jimenez so much. I think it's been extremely yeah. Tough for him them and, as a team. It, him and Jota were were quality. Um, exactly. <clears throat> I just think that was that was good. Two lost two quality forwards is what I've written down. Need need to replace um, a centre back and and get another striker in. Could probably do some all right next year. Yeah. Morgan Gibbs White he's out on loan. He looks a quality quality player. Yeah. Um, with um, Ruben Neves. I mean, yeah, Ruben, Ruben Neves. Neves I don't understand how that happened. Eighteen years yeah. old playing for Champions League in Porto. Yeah. Goes and signs for championship. Youngest captain Mental. in their history, etc. And that as well. Top quality. Yeah. But yeah. So that's, yeah, that. that's, that's all meant... our ratings for them. What uh what's next half? What are we doing next? Um we've got we've got uh oh, I can't remember if it is what do you want to do? Score predictor or who versus who? We'll do our shall we do our score predictor next? Or do you want to do score a who versus who to next. break it up a bit, change it up a bit for once, and then we'll let's change it up. Through. Let's change we'll it up. We'll smash through the two. score predictor, shall we? Afterwards, just get straight through it. Yes, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, so, let's hear you who versus who bring in two bring in. brilliant candidates, um, yeah. who I think are both probably underrated. I know we spoke about a few, um, in previous episodes. So, candidate number one, here's his CV, he's won the Inter Toto Cup, <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> he's won the Inter Toto Cup, he's won five Premier Leagues. Yeah, two league cups, six community shields. He's won a Champions League, a Europa League, and he's won a Club World Cup. In the same year, he won the PFA and his club's player of the season 2012 2013. That is player number one. Okay, any guesses? No, <laughs> none, Who's that? none whatsoever. That is Michael Carrick. Michael Carrick. Okay, okay. I knew it was a man you played. For some reason, I thought it'd be Paul Scholes, but I was like, he definitely won more Premier Leagues than that. Michael, the he Toto won the Inter Toto Cup. Cup with West West Ham. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you like that, didn't you? You like the yeah, Inter Toto Cup. Cup. That's That's funny. Funny. Yeah, on, on Championship yeah. Manager, that, that was that was a that was a cup competition <laughs> to win. That was, wasn't it? Um, yeah. So Michael Carrick, player number two, who um, I probably didn't get a mention. I'm not sure if he got an under mention a mention for underrated last last time, but he definitely is. Um, he's won two FA Cups uh, with two different teams. He's won a Community Shield. He's won two Premier Leagues. He's won a League Cup and a Europa League. Now this is where it might give it away. I think I know he's who it is a, already. He's won a La Liga, a Copa yep. del Rey, yeah, two per two Super Copa Espanias. He's won a Club World Cup, UEFA Super Cup, one World Cup, two Euros. Mm-hmm. He's been a player of the season twice at one club, and he's been PFA Team of the Year twice, and he's also won 110 caps for his country. I imagine you know who that is. Is that Cesc Fabregas? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Do you know what? I've got to pick Cesc. I feel uh, like you would. Not because he's a Chelsea player either, just or a former Chelsea player. Oh, I don't know though. Carrick's ridiculously underrated by so many people, you know, for what he done. But I just think you don't win five a, Premier Leagues if you're not any good. Watching Michael Carrick, you don't get what you get from watching Cesc Fabregas. I loved watching Cesc Fabregas. Still now, when he's at yeah. Monaco, he still does some bits. And when he came yeah. to Chelsea, I was super happy. He was one of the players alongside Olivier Giroud that I truly loved at a rival club. You know, at Arsenal, I'm not meant to love their players, but, you know, I think I don't like Aubameyang and Lacazette and any of their players. No, I think Saka's top quality. I don't care about all the others. I don't even care about David Luiz, you know. But <laughs> I cared about Petr Cech when he was there. But when before they even had any affiliation to Chelsea, I loved Giroud. I loved Seth Fabregas. If you didn't love Seth Fabregas, just from throwing a slice of pizza at Ferguson, then are you even a, yeah, are you yeah, even a football fan, yeah, you know? Yeah, how many, how many pizza slices did Carrick throw at Fergie? None. He didn't have the yeah, balls. Probably not. <laughs> no, 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 I think no, both all pizzas, top probably. quality players, both really, really yeah. underrated. And I think that CV that he just read out for uh, 
But it's, it is incredible. It's it is incredible. You know, two euros and a World yeah. Cup. Obviously, I think he scored the winning goal or got this winning assist in one of them trophies in one of the Euros I believe so. the World Cups. Just, uh, in the just final, 110 he? caps for Spain, though, in, in that era that he's played in when Busquets, we talk about Barcelona. David Silva, Xavi. Yeah. You know, he was around with all them, yeah. Top quality. And Xavi but Alonso. I think, Xavi, yeah, Alonso Xavi Alonso, yeah, again, well, another very underrated player. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go for Fabregas myself. I think both answers are good answers, whoever you say. I honestly you, didn't know. I I didn't think about I didn't think about you asking me who I'd pick. Yeah. Um, I'd love to have seen them play together. I think it yeah. would have been quality. Yeah. Um, Carrick, Carrick, Carrick could play that holding role, couldn't he? I know Fabregas tried to do that later on in his career to some some extent. He did, but Cedric, uh, Seth Fabregas going forward, his vision, yeah. his touch, his weight oh. of pass was. It was exquisite. I mean, I'd probably Arsenal though when they got him from Barcelona. Obviously, he was top quality. Yeah. Um, if it was a CV, I'd, pre- I'd probably pick Fabregas. You've got to, right? Yeah, I think so. I know he only won um, two Premier Leagues compared to five, but um, he won a World Cup and two Euros. All three. Yeah, that's that's it. And he was yeah, a significant that's, part of them. He wasn't just a player that sat on the bench every single game, you know, for them. No, he yeah, was, he did play, he didn't he? I'm the just... 110 cat tells you that. Yeah. Did I say, has he not won a Champions League? He hasn't. Yeah, he's won a Champions League, has he not? Did he? Fabregas? I feel like he did. He must have done but... with Barcelona, right? I don't feel like yeah. that. I don't feel like he did. Ooh. I don't feel so like what? he has won a... I've genuinely... I've, I've... I have written these down, honestly, and I, I genuinely yeah. don't... I think I remember writing it down and going, I feel like I've made a mistake because he's missing the Champions League. I don't think wow. he has. I'm quickly looking. I, th- uh, I, I might have missed it, but I I genuinely think... I, I was astonished at has, myself. Yeah. Wrote, he hasn't won a Champions League. Yeah, it doesn't um, seem like he's won a Champions League. That's mental. To think that a player of that quality wow. hasn't won a Champions League. Um, Probably one of the best players to not win it right with his CV World Cup two Euros. Yeah, yeah. Um who would I pick? Do you know what? I'm gonna go against my gut feeling. I'd probably pick Carrick. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think you could sit Carrick in front of a defence and then have anyone going um going forward, I think. Obviously Fabregas is the guy you'd probably want want going forward with That's his vision and his passing. Is. It's meant it? I've just looked. I'm in... he's, he's been runners up in that with the likes of Arsenal as well. But yeah, like... runners up with yeah. Never won one. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I'd probably probably pick Carrick only ever yeah. so slightly. Um, okay. If it was CVs, it would be Fabregas. But yeah, two top they were both... quality choices. Good, good Hoover too. That yeah. Who so, would you yeah, guys pick? Listening, league. watching on YouTube, we'll drop on the Twitter. See what people say. Michael yeah. Carrick, Seth Fabregas. I reckon, I reckon Carrick might get a bit of an overwhelming response here. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why they're um, both underrated. So, shall we jump straight into the score predictor and go through this pretty quickly and just smash out our results? Yes. Go, 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 go. Obviously, Spurs and Southampton, we done last week. I've got a 3-0 win for Spurs. You've gone for a 2-1 win for Spurs. And Villa versus City, I've gone for a 3-1 City win. You've gone for a 3-0 City win. With the uh, yeah. Jose Mourinho sacking, are you unwilling to let you change your uh, result of that Spurs game? What are you saying? You sticking to a um, one? Yeah, I am. I feel like they're going to be. I think there's only a couple of players in there that seem to like um, Mourinho. I think probably Mason might be the sort of rejuvenation that they might need. I think players like Deli Ali might start to try and find some form potentially. Is that not a problem though? The likes of Deli Ali, Harry Winks, Eric Dyer. All being some of them, I think Winks, squad. <laughs> Winks is a problem. Uh, I really like Dyer and Ali. I hope that they turn it around, if I'm honest. Because I, yeah. when Ali burst onto the scene in the Premier League, there was there wasn't any other any other 21 year old that you were taking in the world above him. In my eyes, yeah, it was it was in that it was season. Decent. It was, it, was it was incredible. Um, if he finds that sort of form again, they've got a hundred million pound player, haven't they? Easy. Uh, maybe if he finds that form again, he was if he finds Lampard that form and... again, though, in my opinion, I still think he's not 
he's still not Grealish, he's still not Foden, he's still not Mount. I still don't see him getting in the start in England eleven, but he's there. He'll be in the squad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah I'll, I'll change too, mine. I'm leaving. I won't go. I won't go three 0 I'll go for three one. I think. I want them to lose just because one. I hate Spurs and Wait, two. Three one to who? What? Spurs. Three one to Southampton. Spurs. Spurs. Oh, I, I'm, I'm gonna say. get. I'm gonna say Southampton are scoring. I think it could be like two all, one all. I I don't know. I just can't see Spurs winning. I don't want them to win. Even more now, they got rid of Mourinho. The best thing that's happened to him. I genuinely think their best chance of winning the Carabao Cup was him. I'll stick with Man City and Villa, same as you. Probably we'll stick with them results because it's only because yeah. of the manager change. But we'll jump straight in. We'll smash through these then. Uh, I'll throw it to you yeah. then, Harvey. What are you saying for Leicester City against West Bromwich Albion? 2-1 Leicester. Yeah, I've gone exactly the same. I think West Brom's form is good. That could be interesting. Yeah, this one's a good one. Arsenal versus Everton. What are you saying? 1-0 Everton. You've gone 1-0 Everton. Okay, I've gone Arsenal for a... look poor. I know I've gone for a two nil Everton. I think. Oh, oh, you wanted me to score more goals? Okay. Yeah, I just don't see how Everton don't score more than one against this Arsenal team, and I think with Hamas Rodriguez back, you know, Liverpool against two, and I've gone four nil to Liverpool. I think they need a huge result here, and I and think they get it. I thought you were going for two then. Nah, um, nah, nah. Two two one. I think it's tight. You you reckon it's Didn't tight? You, you said two, two one Liverpool, Liverpool. Yeah. Two okay, one Liverpool. What about what about this game? I think this is a this is so close to call. <laughs> It's West Ham <laughs> at home to Chelsea. What are you saying? 1-1. One, one. You're saying 1-1? One, one. Uh, West Ham are dangerous. I, I I've gone 2-2, can... two, two, but I'm going to change it because I don't want us both oh. to get a one point. I'm going for a 2-1 Chelsea. I'm back on my boys. No, I went 3-2 actually. That's a three. I'll I'll change it to 2-1. I ain't going 3-2. I don't think there'll be that many goals. 2-1 Chelsea. 1-1 one, one for you. Okay. Right, I can never yeah. back bet against Chelsea. I'm never saying Chelsea are going to draw. They're going to lose. Chelsea are winning everything with the best team in the world. Sheffield United <laughs> against Brighton. I'm going for a 3-0 Brighton win. I've gone 2-0. 2-0, yeah. Yeah. Next up, so... Wolverhampton Wanderers against Burnley. I've gone 1-1. I've gone 1-1 as well. I think that's a got yes. draw written all over it the way both That could be the boring right game now. of the week. That's going to be the boring game of the week. That's uh, yeah. the Talk of the Terrace podcast certified boring game of the week. Do not watch yeah. it. If you if you miss one game of football this week, miss that Make one. But definitely don't miss this one. It's Leeds United at home to Manchester United. I've gone two one United. Man United. Okay, I've got <laughs> I've gone three two United. I think this is going to be goals, goals, goals. Villa against yes. West Bromwich Albion. Uh, I've gone Villa again. Oh, do you know what? I've written 2-1 Villa, but can I change that? I'm going to write 2-1 yep. West, uh, West Brom. You're going 2-1 West Brom. That helps me because I've gone 3-1 Villa. So okay. you change into West Brom who aren't going to win just means you get one less point and means I'm going to get to spin the wheel of forfeits on you at the end of the season. We'll, We're getting that wheel we'll see. by the end of the season. It's too close to the end of the season. We're doing a big one for that. We'll do another one for the Euros, yeah, where we both pick a team who we think is going to win the Euros. Whoever okay. Gets furthest, and we'll do score predictor as well. And finally, it's Leicester on Monday against Crystal Palace. Their second game as well. What are you saying? Three one Leicester. Three one Leicester. Okay, I'll go for a three nil then. I've got three one, but I'm going to cross out the one. Okay. Because I don't. I want to change it up. Too many times I see us having the same scores, and I want to be further than you. I'm only one point ahead of us. <laughs> Thirty five <laughs> points to me. Thirty four points to you. I'm going to be. Five points ahead of you by the end of this game week. I don't know. Uh, yeah. We can end on a fact if you want, or we can end it there. What are you saying? You got a fact written down, Harv? I've got one fact written down. If you okay, then do you want to give me your fact and then I'll give you mine? Only one of Ruud van Nistelrooy's 150 goals came from outside the box. Wow. Oh, we're doing a, against little, short, Charlton. We'll do a little short one then. Do you know, this is a question fact, who were the last football team to win the top division in the English football with striped shirts? Uh, with striped shirts? Yeah, not hoops. Not hoops. So Sheffield yeah, United no. stripes, Newcastle yeah, stripes. Yeah, stripes. Um, their home kit. The kit home they're known kit. for. Uh, um, I feel like maybe... Are the team currently in the Prem or are they in the no. Championship? No. <laughs> uh, what, they've had a lower? massive fall from yeah, they've had a massive fall from grace the past few years. That might give you a hint. Uh, 
the most notable player of recent times is currently in jail. <laughs> it's Sunderland. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I could <laughs> oh, not think. You can think that. Yeah, Sunderland Football could Club or Sunderland yeah, AFC. Wow. I don't know what the AFC really stood for. But yeah, the last team to win the top division of English football was 1935-36 season. That long ago, a team with striped shirts won the league. Wow. So yeah, long time that ago. Is mental. But yeah, that thanks is mental. for listening, guys. I think that was a good yeah. episode. Again, might be a bit of a long one, but I hope everyone enjoys it. Tell us what you I think. I should hope so. You know, if yeah. you disagree with some of our grades, there were some contentious uh, choices there, I think. I don't think yeah. we can argue with Chelsea being the saviour of English football. I think that's fine. I think we can. <laughs> but yeah, I think we can. I think, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll we'll be back next week, as always. And yes, yeah. Just uh, thank the Lord that the ESL hasn't gone through. Yes, right, absolutely. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you. Thank you. you. Later.